Welcome to this Tilly tutorial.、Uh, first of all, please excuse my accent and also excuse the fact that I sometimes stuck in the middle of this workshop, because I'm doing this on the fly and without any manuscript. So be patient with me.、Uh, first of all, you should have a look in the link section below this YouTube video. You will find some maybe useful links.、Uh, for example, a PDF file which describes How to install Linux and Tilly onto your computer? Well, start with the workshop. To do so, open the terminal window and launch Tilly by simply typing Tilly into this terminal window. This is possible because you've asked to Elias Tilly after you did the installation, and it's very important to. Uh, start Tilly in this way, and not by clicking on the executable icon, for instance, in your program folder, because just by launching Tilly from the terminal window, you can be sure、uh, that Tilly and all its sub packages and sub programs work perfectly. And、uh, yes, okay, this is the graphical user interface of Tilly,、uh, and we will run through all these different subfolders. Uh, step by step in this workshop. So this is the initialize section, the first section, and it's divided into three parts: the project and global settings part, the data directories part, and the select instrument part. And first of all, you should choose a name for your current project. I've collected some data of the Lagoon Nebula, and so my project is simply called M I M eight. So leave all those other settings. Uh, like the like the default settings. If you're using Tilly for the very first time,、uh, as you can see, I've used it a few times before. If you're using it for the first time, you have to create an instrument. There are several predefined instruments、uh, which you can choose here. You can choose some professional instruments,、um, for instance, yeah. Some cameras、uh, used on telescope at the Gemini Thous Observatory, or even at the very large telescope. I'm pretty sure、uh, you don't need this. There are some commercial cameras, like yeah, different Canon Canon cameras or Aspect cameras. But you have to choose or create your own instrument under User Defined. So click the Create Instrument button. And now you have to create your instrument. First of all, select a name for your instrument. In my case, this is ST eight three zero zero at TMB eighty. That's my camera and my telescope. The number of CCDs is one. In commercial cameras, professional cameras might have even more. The geographic latitude is not mandatory, but Uh, you're free to fill in a value here. The pixel scale is very important because Tilly、uh, needs to know the relations between, yeah, the resolution of your camera and the pixel sky and the coordinate system in the sky. So this is, becomes very important later in the astrometry section. Well, the pixel scale is、uh, defined or calculated、uh, in the following manner: you have to multiply your pixel size in microns by 206.2 and divide this、uh, by the focal length of your telescope in millimeters. So, in my case, this is 2.183. You can calculate it by hand, or you can have a look in the link section again below this video, and use an online pixel scale calculator. The overscan、uh, x minimum and x maximum、uh, is zero. In my case,、um, if you don't have an overscan region. Or don't want to define an overscan region. Just disarm this by type in zero. Cut on X is the first 
pixel in x direction that receives slide. Well, this is one in my case. Same for cut on y. If you want for any reason to start with other pixels, uh, simply type in different values here. X size is self speaking the size of my CCD chip in X direction and it's in numbers of pixels so in my case is 3326 and uh, same for Y size in my case this is 2504 well, center pixel 1 is um, defined as the uh, reference pixel for the later astrometric um, solution. And yeah, it's, well, it's the center of your chip and you can simply divide your chip size by 2. Well, in my case, this is... Wow, mathematics by heart. It's one six six three. So simply divide um, your x size by two, and you get the center pixel in x direction, and in y direction is. I'm sorry, I'm calculating it. Uh, yeah. So, you simply have to save this um, area here. As I already did it, did it, I simply put the current instrument, uh, push the current instrument button and as you can see nothing happens that means uh, these are the values that I've already have chosen. Now you have to create the splitting script um, well and you do so just you leave this all um, you leave the default settings like they are here and simply push the create script button that it that's it. If you're using a CCD with RGB color matrix, uh, for instance, any color Canon color camera or whatever, uh, simply choose this option here. I already already did this, and as you can see, your uh, camera is here on the this user defined section, and the chosen cameras also. Yeah, in this uh, you can see uh, which camera you have chosen already in this area on the bottom. Okay, at least you have to fill in the right paths to your data directories and well. So have a look on the data. To do so, uh, Linux offers a very nice and comfortable way of using different desktops. So open a second desktop and open your data directory path well here's my data stored in this folder and there are several subfolders uh, for my luminance uh, data for my different color data for my bias frames dark frames and even for uh, different flat frames for each color channel and there is also a folder called all, which we need later. So go back to Tele and type in the main path, which is called M8. Type in bias for bias frame. And if you can see, if, um, if Tele can find those directories, uh, the selection turns into green. Darks. We start with the luminance data, so. Oh, sorry. Science is meant to be your light frames, so 
as I told you, we start with the luminance channel. Well, that's it for the initialize section, and we can go over to the preparation section. Well, the preparation is a mandatory step in Tele. Um, while your data stays untouched during the preparation, but your FITS headers get changed so that Tele um, can digest your data. Uh, this is necessary, this is a mandatory step, as I told you, but it's very simple. Simply click Split FITS Correct Header and hit the Start button and after a short while uh, this task is already done and if it is done you will get a little done message in this messages box and we also could have a look at our data directories again and well, have a look at our flat fields and as you can see there's a new folder called originals uh, your original data is stored in this folder uh, just for the case that you want to repeat certain steps and also you can see Tilly working right now oh it's already finished I guess yeah there's your done notification so you're done here as I said this is a mandatory step it's very easy to do um, but it's necessary to do well Move over to the calibration section. This is again very simple. Um, you just use these green colored tasks here. You want to create a master bias frame, so you say process biases. You want to create a master dark frame, so uh, process darks, and a master flat field frame, so process flat, flats. You want to <coughs> calibrate your data, of course, this is um, yeah, what it's all about here. And you want to use a dark frame, so choose Use Dark. Don't care so much about all those other values or possibilities you have here. Remember that Tilly is a professional software package for also for uh, reducing infrared data and while these um, steps here in the above section are uh, interesting if you maybe reduce some infrared data so don't care about it um, and just simply choose those tests hit the start button and wait till your calibration is done and again we could have a look at our data and as you can see, there is a new uh, file created by Tele, and this this is your, for instance, your master bias frame here, your master dark frame, a master flat field frame, wow, and your luminance data is calibrated now and as you can see the already splitted images are again stored into a new subfolder which is called split images just in case you want to repeat this step you get the done notification again this is a very simple step in Tele and uh, we can go over to the waiting section you don't need this super flatting uh, section uh, because this is uh, just necessary if you're doing infrared data again. So move over to the waiting section. Well, first of all, what's happening here? Tilly creates um, a weight map, and the basis for this weight map is your flat field, and yeah, each single pixel is compared to all the other pixels in in your picture and Tilly creates a map of how much information every single pixel is able to receive those weight maps are um, are no let me say it like this every 
pitcher which gets into the co-addition process later gets his own weight map. To create the weight maps, simply choose those red colored tasks here. And uh, let's have a look at the configuration. Well, just use the default settings. You have to leave these settings under defect detection empty, so just um, erase the values in this section and just simply use uh, the default settings here. Same for create weights, more or less the same. Um, yeah, this is the default setting and I simply erase the cosmic threshold because my data is a bit undersampled and uh, so it's necessary to erase the cosmic threshold you should do it in the same way uh, just to be sure uh, um, that not some stars are falsely um, yeah, detected as cosmics which leads to artifacts later well again yeah it's very simple to go to the waiting section just use more or less the default settings I just erase those values under defect detection in the create global weights section and I re erase the cosmic threshold here and this is very fast and very easy you get your done notification very fast well now go back to the beginning and repeat all those steps for your color channels so uh, do all those steps for your red channel for your green channel and for your blue channel and after this we go over to the astrometry and we do a little break here and uh, uh, I will see you guys in the second part of this tutorial which is called Astrometry.